finally returned to regular programming once again. Thank you for all the support for all the, all the marathon videos. Really appreciate it. I really wanted to put up videos during those three weeks, but a kid named High School Final Exams kind of got away with, away with that. So I need to put something out while I was testing those during that time. And so I figured those marathons would be a good segue into what I like to call phase two of my content, if you will. A lot of new stuff's on the way. New series, some slight updates to other series as well. And we're going to be starting out phase two, sort of, with the Port of His Workbench installments, uh, focusing on the one and only Molly. And so here we go. After years of anticipation, dreaming, and waiting, Molly the Yellow Engine has finally arrived in my collection. You're probably wondering why. <laughs> why make Molly, who was in one episode as a lead and appeared in a few episodes as a background character, and I basically never seen again after a season or two? Well, to put it simply, she was a favorite of mine as, when in, during my childhood. For some reason, I remember loving this character as a kid. I even on the track master only when I was little, played with that thing all the time. Yellow was also my favorite color at the time. I was like five or six at a time. And thus, I magically just gravitated towards Molly. And I also remember that Whistle Memory game on the old Thomas website. And Molly was amongst the big three of Thomas, Percy, and James. She was even also in a bunch of the bath toys packs that were grouped in with the mains as well. Molly was there too. And a bunch of others. It's kind of easy to believe that Molly was pretty hyped to be a potential new lead character for Thomas. Not only did she stand out visually, there was also a lot of potential there for a character. And also a gender balance, you know, that was starting to become a thing. But yeah, anyway. So yeah, I don't know why they never made her a lead. A lot of potential. And so that's why I incorporated Molly into the Portiverse, which is my personal headcanon. Speaking of which, let's get into Molly's backstory in the Portiverse. Molly was built in 1913 at Stratford Works like the rest of her class, and she was an extra member of the class built. And she was built as a special order place by the newly formed Nafford Allsbrough in Ulster Railway the year before. After the construction was completed, Molly was shipped over to Sodor, and she became the first ever express engine on the KANUR and the first express engine on the east coast of Sodor. Molly was also painted into a very unique livery as well. This being a bright yellow with white wheels at that time. Very, very flashy indeed. And she was eventually given black wheels when she was sent over for an overhaul in 1933. This was when she was rebuilt into a D16. And over time, Molly gradually became a secondary express engine whenever Gordon was out of action. She also did a lot of freight service at her time as well. And Molly was the very first engine to request a repaint. Yeah, she, she pretty much hated her British Railways livery. And thus, Molly was repainted back into her iconic yellow livery, as that is depicted on the model. In present day, Molly is preserved as the last D16 around, calling a mixture of passenger and freight services for the Northwestern Railway. Molly was one of the very first engines on my build list when I first started modeling back in 2021. I knew pretty much right away that a D16 would be the base model for this. After winning the bid, I waited a couple weeks for the model to arrive, and the date finally came. Now it was time to paint her up into her iconic yellow livery. But yeah, usually the gray primer would take about two coats being brushed on. So after all that drying, I went nuts with the yellow paint. The color is quite simply apple barrel yellow. Straight up yellow. After the yellow was fully applied and dried, I did a lot of touch of work in black acrylic. After all that was the lining. I used a red paint pan and very carefully went on the indented lining on the boiler, cab and tender. After all that lining, I made out the front of the swim box door in silver sharpie. And also blocked the number board as it had a British Railways number on it. A white paint pen was used for uh, these weird top things in a tender, and it was up on Molly's TV series model, so I just carried it over. 
After all the painting was done, I gave the model a matte clear coat. And the final step was to paint the side rods red with the red paint pen. And then, of course, give her my signature staple sort of elements, the tuck style megaphone. And just like that, Molly was done. This will be the part of the video where I showed the model running around and stuff. But you know what sucks? Apparently, um, the, so the model worked before I painted it. But when I tested it afterwards, when I was done, it didn't work. After investigating, I found that one of the wires in the pickups had come loose. You, you, can, you can probably hear the immense pain in my voice just saying that. Yeah, this was, um... Not fun to uh, find out. But yeah, rest assured that one day I WILL get Molly running again. What that involves, I don't know. New chassis, bunch of wire surgery, who knows. I will, one more words, I will one day get this model Molly running again. Molly is one of my favorite engines in the Thomas universe. Not only for nostalgia reasons, but also her hidden potential with the, within. I will be holding on this model to the rest of my days. And like many others in this collection, she's easily one of my favorites. Top three there, I say? Yeah, definitely top three. Thank you all very much for watching this episode of Portiverse Workbench. And I will see you all in the next one.